Lord Jim O'Neill, Commercial Secretary, UK Treasury, spoke exclusively to ED Now in London. He says that he's proud of the returns that uh, the BRIC nations, Brazil, Russia, India and China, have made uh, for investors. He also talks about how he understands the China risk at this point and addresses uh, the heightened concerns from the Brexit vote. So actually, I don't think that's really accurate how that's been reported. I'm pretty happy that I included all four, because <laughs> despite Brazil and Russia's considerable problems, and they are pretty considerable, and they've disappointed both of them for years, both countries are a bigger share of global GDP than they were 16 years ago when I dreamt this acronym up. So I'm actually pretty pleased about all four of them. Uh, as for China, uh, as I frequently say in the lesser times I talk about these things in my new life, um, China's the one of the four that so far this decade has grown by more than I've assumed. So yes, China's got challenges, lots of issues it needs to deal with, just like anybody else. But as far as I can see in the big picture, China's going broadly along the path that I assumed. Let me just say, uh, in my opinion, uh, and also in my capacity uh, as a Treasury Minister, uh, I'm in favour of what uh, the Prime Minister is recommending to the British people. Um, it doesn't seem at all clear to me uh, what are the supposed benefits uh, as, to, as to why we would want to consider leaving. And certainly what is clearer to me, there are considerable risks uh, about us choosing to leave and therefore given my own background from a sort of risk return perspective, I can't imagine why we should do that. In fact, uh, Jim also highlighted his outlook on India within the BRIC nations uh, and the view on policy under the Modi government that's completed two years. I think this is a, a really important time for India. Um, the things that were behind the whole BRICS concept were demographics and productivity pretty simple things, frankly. Uh, India's now, on a relative basis, entered a sweet or entering a sweet spot compared to China, uh, in that India's demographic profile over the next 15 to 20 years gets better and better, where China's has started to deteriorate. And so, in principle, it's a lot easier for India to grow by a bigger rate than China going forward. Whether that will actually happen or not depends on many things that India needs to do to boost its productivity. I think there's been a shift to the positive that primarily took place in the early days of the Modi administration coming into existence. Um, and that therefore, and along with the evidence that India is seemingly growing by between 7 and 8 uh, percent, the answer is yes, people have become more optimistic. Where there remains many questions uh, is whether India can actually turn that into something that happens for the next two decades, or perhaps even if it really gets its productivity rate boosted, perhaps even stronger rates of growth. Uh, and we'll have to see what, what happens going forward in terms of policy. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.